This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Are you looking for that last card to complete your deck or you want to start your adventure and you don't have any TCGO codes? This is the website to start. You can go to PotownStore.com and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order and they have a huge variety of codes up on their website ranging from uh, the latest booster packs like Battle Styles, they have uh, Dragapult codes, Eternus codes, Zacian codes, you name it. Be sure to check it out on PotownStore.com. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com, the best place for European players to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every day to get rid of my bulk and you can buy some uh, sweet deals uh, from people all across Europe. I love the website. Be sure to check out the affiliate link in the description. You're gonna be helping me out. And uh, without further ado, let's just get this video started. I'm hyped. Hopefully you guys are hyped as well. Peace. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be doing totally nothing and winning games. That's what we're going to do. As always, you get daily Pokemon TCG on this channel, so uh, definitely subscribe so you don't ever miss out. And uh, what I mean by doing nothing is just evolving into Altaria and winning games because of the Miraculous Charm. This prevents all damage done to it from, uh, from uh, V Pokemon and GX, so uh, that's like 90% uh, of the meta right now. And we also have Kangastan uh, to actually slap 120 against stuff like Volcanion, against stuff like Babel Cephalon, which are still one prizers or that do see play. We have a Munchlax to uh, recover some of our resources. We have Malala, uh, uh, big charms in here, a lot of them, to so we'll actually make sure that Altaria is a little bit more tanky against these one prize Pokemon. Lots of capture energies, lots of powerful Karas energy, so we are actually slapping more damage than the 60 that is uh, stated on the speed dive attack. And uh, other than that, we just have straightforward Altaria with the Snorlax engine. So we have four Lily's Pokedol to hide behind while we safely set our Altaria up to slap huge damage with speed dive thanks to powerful Carlos energy. We have some Mellow Lanos which actually helps out perfectly with Lily's Pokedol and also with the addition of Cynthia Callan you can get back your uh, Mellow Lanos in uh, the mid to late game which is totally awesome. Four Marnies will make sure that the opponent doesn't have any boss resorts to high actually uh, gust over the Lily's Pokedol and uh, that's gonna be awesome for sure. So uh, yeah, uh, pure Altaria, I have to give a huge shout out to uh, Sesto Santo from Israel, which actually got third place out of 200 players in the GG Tour tournament, which was very, very insane. So uh, yeah, Altaria, favorable matchups. Uh, if you want to see, Tikaram is a favorable matchup. Uh, ADP Zation is a favorable matchup if they don't play Aegislash. Uh, what other matchups? Eternatus, also a favorable matchup. So as you can see, there's a lot of favorable matchups out there. I know they could be uh, playing tech cards, but if they don't, we just win by just evolving into Altaria. <laughs> That's how it is. I know in open decklist tournaments, this works out better because you already know what to expect. What to expect. I know specific uh, Eternus lists also run Phoebe, so uh, that can come as a surprise, but in open decklist tournaments, you shouldn't be worried at all playing an Altaria. So as you can see, we have little old Swablu. Okay, we have a little Pokedol and an Altaria on hand. So this is actually not a bad hand. I'm actually not, not gonna slap on anything. If he resets stamps us early on, some, some decks actually do that. We can actually have a better hand than this one. So uh, the only thing we have to do is evolve and just hopefully the opponent doesn't have any answers. Uh, weaknesses, Volcanion, Babel Cephalon, Spiritomb. What else? Uh, okay, this is probably gonna be Picaron, which is totally, totally busted. Lily spoke it all, uh, little Swablu over here. We're not gonna be playing on, yeah, we might as well play the Evo Incense. He could Marnius, but for all we know, we still have uh, other means to just get our stuff out. Yeah, it's not too bad, let's get this one. And a Mew, we're not gonna slap down the Mew. We can wait with slapping down the Mew. He can go for like Tag Ball GX, but he's probably gonna be attacked with Tapu Coco Prism Star, which is the only attacker capable of actually slapping damage. We are weak to Lightning, so we will have to hide uh, behind Lily Spokedal for a couple of turns until we are ready to strike and knock out the Tapu Koko Prism Star. As the only weakness we have is that that is the one prizer. It potentially could also be prized. <laughs> or not. Here he is, Tapu Koko Prism Star, and there's the Marnie that we never ever ever want to see. But it's okay. Now we potentially will have, if we didn't use Evo Incense, he might have not Marnie, but in this situation, it's a better solution here. We do have Evo Incense, so we already will have Altaria. I wonder if he's gonna go for Electrify. He's gonna go for Electrify and just try to slap damage with Tapu Koko Prism Star. We need to get rid of that Tapu Koko Prism Star as soon as possible. I don't even know how many bosses or does he's playing. If he has them in hand or not. 
Oh boy, what are we gonna do? If we top back an energy, we can attach and retreat to Snorlax to Gormandize, which is actually not a bad idea. We don't run weak guard energy, so there's gonna be Electrify onto the Tabu Coco Prism Star here. Okay, we just need to get rid of this guy. That's the only way. If we get knocked out, we can actually slap with Kangaskhan, which is actually very, very crazy. Okay, we have a Bird Keeper. We could sw uh, switch over to Snorlax, which is going to be able to draw us a lot of cards. Let's go. There we go. We have more cards. We have the Twin Energy, which is able to get ourselves the Kangaskhan. I think I will go full on Kangaskhan from here on out. It's not a bad idea, right? Full on Kangaskhan mode. Yeah, Kangaskhan is in the list. If we get knocked out here, it's definitely going to be okay. For now, we just go for this method. Do we go for another Quick Ball here? We could attach already like Quick Ball and this guy's only slapping 120 damage, right? Interesting case. Hello? <laughs> Hello? How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, Kangaskhan has to come out of nowhere, right? Kangaskhan has to come out of nowhere. We could potentially... I, we are running three copies of Boss's Orders ourselves. So we might as well go for this strategy and already poke him. We already, already have Ordinary Rod as well, so let's just go for this mechanic. Let's go. Okay, we have the powerful Carlos Energies. We have the big Parasol, which actually, as long as this Pokemon uh, is attached to something, uh, prevents all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to all of your Pokemon. Okay, crazy. In this situation, our Kangaskhan will survive and we can poke damage. We're actually going to go for powerful Carlos Energy onto our Kangaskhan, gust up the Tapu Koko Prism Star, and then we win the game instantly. And that's our main plan. We do have Bird Keeper to make it happen. He could knock out our Snorlax, for all we know. He could not do it. We have Scoop Up Nets. We do have Scoop Up Nets, right? Yeah, two of them. Only two, but that's not an issue. <laughs> okay. Cynthia Callen could get back another Bird Keeper. Okay, I wonder what it's gonna do. I wonder what it, he gusts up the Kangaskhan, presumably, yeah, presumably. Slaps a little bit of damage onto it. That means he's already in the active position, which is super good. We can even finish off the Tapu Koko Prism Star with none other than Pack. <laughs> pack for 10 damage. Can you believe it? Okay, powerful Karna's energy over here. We go for the boss's orders on this fella. He's probably not playing any other things. Uh, prevents all effects of attacks. So that's interesting. All effects of attacks, paralyzation and all that. Probably will not need that in this matchup. Let's just go. Hammer. Hammer in. Hammer in. Boom. Pew. Look at that. 120. So a uh, little swab look and finish off the job. And then we win the game. <laughs> that's how easy it will be. Just need to set ourselves. We still have more twin energies where those came from. So we just need to uh, hybrid some dolls. We already have boss of the orders in hand. I in this situation, I'm just gonna go for a boss of orders, capture energy, pack, pack <laughs> onto the onto, onto the little tap coco prism star, and then we win the game. Crazy, right? That's how. That's all you need to do. If you're up against Pikaram, you automatically win. Kangaskhan, the MVP here. Yes. Who remembers Kangaskhan being good in X Y when uh, the Mega Evolutions were first introduced? Switches around to the Bolton. Hopefully, no Marnie. If there's, oh, of course, I just jinx myself every single time. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We still have time. We only need to go for Cynthia Callen. Just get the boss's orders back and go from there. We have some Lily Spoken. Oh, powerful Carlos Energy. Super duper interesting. Super. I'm actually gonna go for Gorman Dice here. Seems like a nice idea. We can shuffle back the Kangaskhan as well, which is super nice. Yeah, in this situation, he can take a couple of prize cards, but as soon as we are ready to go, it's gonna be awesome. Another powerful Carlos Energy. These are keep popping up here, so let's go for this. Ordinary Rod. We're gonna be shuffling back the Kangaskhan and the Swablu. We will go for a Quick Ball. Get rid of this. Maybe another Swablu don't actually need any of these cards to be honest yeah you could gust up this guy but then we knock him out with maybe another little swablu is not a bad idea how many altarials in here two of them two of them left let's see let's go gorman dies we just need to find boss's orders or just evolve another one of these fellas yeah we have another altaria skylar can actually find the boss's orders but he's probably gonna go for marty anyhow 
The only thing we need to do is like boss this guy up and knock him out. That's all we need to do. Luckily there's three bosses in this list, which is actually pretty damn nice. We are weak to lightning however, so he could actually like gust us up and then knock us out, but Altaria is pretty damn safe. The only way he actually gets some stuff done is attacking with the uh, Tapu Koko Prism, sorry, or another Marnie, okay. Marnie after Marnie, we're gonna have to hide with some Lily's Poké Dolls here. Maybe we draw into an Energy and the Boss's Orders. Ooh, Boss's Orders, that's what I love to see. Attachment under the Tapu Koko Prism Star. And what now? Does he have any outs? I don't think so. We have a Marnie from herself. Either we go for Cynthia Catlin or we go for a Marnie, but yeah, Boltstorm just knock us out. I don't care. We just need to top back an energy, right? One energy is all we need. Come on! No energy. And no energy inside. Okay. Well, if that is the case, we can go for another Gorman dice. We can go for another Gorman dice. He can still take three prize cards, right? So that means... Yeah, probably probably gonna have to go for Cynthia Catlin first. Get rid of this. And get an... Uh, Bird Keeper? If we get the boss, it goes down to the bottom anyhow, so... Let's just take the Bird Keeper for now. We draw some cards. Ooh. Scoop up net. Scoop up net actually allows us to go crazier than ever before. Okay, this guy has a lot of energy, by the way. Uh, let's just get rid of this. Quick ball. Snorlax. Snorlax. Lily Spoke it all. To the bottom of the deck with this guy. We go for level ball. Nothing of this that we need. We can sc still scoop up, right? We can scoop up later. We can scoop up this guy. The only thing we need is an energy, right? German dice. Yeah, there's the energy. The only thing we need to do is like knock this guy out and win the game. I am not able to slap down any more Pokemon because of the fact otherwise he wins the prize race. Let's imagine he has boss's orders. Or we're just gonna go for yeah, he has boss's orders, goes down after this Altaria. Oh boy. He, uh, he could attack this Altaria. Okay, bosses orders the Altaria. Fine, that means we can capture energy, knock him out, and now we only need to find an Altaria. Okay. Let's go for this. Cynthia Catlin. Yo! Cynthia Catlin can get back a Marnie. Interesting. Slap down the Lily's Poke Doll. Do we go for Bird Keeper or not? I think I will go for Cynthia Catlin first. We draw three cards regardless, right? Cynthia Catlin. Let's get rid of this. I'm getting ourselves a Marnie. Look at all that. All that that we're getting here. Big charm onto this guy. Scooping up this guy. Then going for this one. Capture energy. Yeah, we could slap down the Kang's can, but we're not gonna do it. <laughs> we just need to hope we find all our Altaria soon enough. Yeah, if this guy goes down, he can then gust this guy up. We only need to evolve into one of them. Yeah, that's the plan. Pack. So next turn we Marnie, hopefully find one Altaria and win the game. Come on, what do we get? <laughs> A Munchlax? Okay. Okay. So here's Bolton. He could Marnie or reset stamp us, but we don't care. In this situation, I think the best bet is going for Marnie because it gets us five additional cards deeper into the deck. We only need to find one little Altaria and we win the game. Shouldn't be that hard, right? I already played down three Marnie, so it's probably not going to be Marnie. Boltstorm, yeah, that's cool. That is totally cool. Okay, we have two shots at this. 
capture energy for nothing. We could go for another Pokemon here, but that's gonna lose us the game. There's more Marnies where those came from, so uh, yeah, Marnie time. It's Marnie time. Could have actually like not slapped down another Pokemon and go for Munchlax instead. There's the Altaria, and that's game. That is game. He still has Crushing Hammers, but we don't care about this. Yo, we did it. We totally did it. <laughs> We're just gonna poke around with Altaria all day long right now. Crushing Hammer. We don't care. We utterly don't care about this Crushing Hammer. Because we have more energies where those came from. We have two powerful Carlos energies left, three capture energies left, and three twin energies. So uh, yeah, Eldegoss can spoke, poke around for some stuff. Keep attacking with Eldegoss and then getting it back. What can he do? Mari, boss, Bolt Storm. We still have bosses ours of ourselves, right? Yeah, we have two of them left. And Cynthia Catlins too. Awesome. Okay, big charm. All the way. Yeah, we probably don't need any big charms anymore. But it will, will make our lives a little bit easier. We don't... Yeah, boss Zord is super duper nice. Ah, he could get rid of all of our dolls and stuff. I'm actually just gonna go for some speed dives. Speed dive for 80. Just leaving our Marnies in hand is nice. He still has three hammers, so we have to be wary about the hammers. He could also still leave us stuck with this Wobblu. Two energies. He can actually attack with Aldegas for zero damage. I don't know how this will go. And we still have how many dolls? Three doll, two dolls left. Okay. He can shuffle himself back in deck. Doesn't matter. Infinite looping. Yeah, he gives us this guy. Yo, Altaria number two. Yeah, we're gonna 80 if we get another powerful Carlos energy equipped on here. Yeah, what is what are the chances though? What are the chances? I'm just gonna go for some speed dives. I'm feeling it. He cannot heal this damage off. We still have two bosses orders left. That's what we do. Don't do anything, just attack. He can paralyze us for all we know. Attachment onto the right you and all on right you, okay. If he has a hammer, we have a twin energy. That's how it is. Switch to the bolt and electrify. <laughs> Does he have any, any other way? Yeah, we can get paralyzed, but that's not gonna shut down our ability. So that's how cool Altaria is. You don't need to do anything. We are slapping 80. Another doll, that's crazy. We can actually go in dull loops, by the way, at one point. Speed dive again. 80-80. We're just gonna put, keep on poking 80. We're just gonna not play any supporters because we have 17 turns of slapping 80 damage. Crushing Hammer, Tails. Oh, we're not gonna be changing a lot of our, of our main strategy here. Research, okay. Paralyzation. The reason why we don't over attach in this scenario is that he could actually boss this guy up. He has infinite supplies of uh, Tandem Shock. Okay, infinite amount of uh, stuff. Okay, that's cool. Bird Keeper, Lily Spooky Doll. So Bird Keeper, more dolls where those came from. Lily Spooky Doll. And now we can slap for 100 right yeah that seems to be cool 100 that's crazy man 100 damage output we still have Cynthia Catlin which can get back a bird keeper if need be and we still have a scoop up net as well which makes sure we only have a lone Altaria just which keeps on poking crazy damage Marnie what does he have left? He can actually go for attachments slowly onto the Eldegoss, but we're slapping 100 right now. And uh, yeah, we even have Melolana, so crazy stuff in this deck. Reset Stamp. Oh no. Getting us into a Cynthia Catlin, which can actually get us a boss. This guy's almost knocked out. This guy's almost knocked out. Seems like a great plan to me. 
And also, if it's level 100, we can even knock out the Crobat. So if we get a Balthazardus, this is gonna be legit insane. So this guy's drawing some more cards. We don't actually need to think anymore. Quick, crushing hammers. They are not going too well here. And at this point, with three hammers down, even if there was one successful, our damage output would have, would have gone to like lower amounts again. Cynthia Catlin. Let's get rid of Kangaskhan and getting ourselves a boss's orders back. Oh, look at that. It's crazy. Munchlax can even do some stuff if he wants to. Speed dive activation. So we have uh, 100 damage output. We take two prize cards right now. We have Marnie. So at one point, if we just draw, 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 we can Marnie. So we don't have to worry about it. We can scoop this guy up just to make sure he doesn't leave this guy stuck. Just keep slapping 100. There's Mewtwo. <laughs> Eldegoss. He gets back the boss. Okay. Cool. We still have scoop up net, so we can go Skyla scoop up net. Not an issue at all. Or just attack with this guy in general. Interesting. Interesting development. Skyla. Scoop up net. <laughs> There's no way he can get an answer against this uh, fella. Yo, there we go. Louis spoke dull. So we can loop them. Yeah, next turn we boss. So we speed by speed dive for 100. I don't think he has an answer. He already played on four Marnies. That's utterly ridiculous. But just in case, we could slam down another Swablu. Just in case he does some funky stuff. But I think this is game. I don't think Pikaram has an answer against a lone Altaria just going crazy. Pikaram. Research. Okay, these are all the attackers he's dealing with. Crushing Hammer. Oh boy. <laughs> His Crushing Hammer uh, flipping is, is utterly bad. I feel for the opponent for sure. Okay, here comes a Raichu Raichu. Tandem Shock. We do have a Melolana. We do have a Melolana. We're not gonna be using the Melolana though. Yeah, just passing it out. Now, what can you do? None of these attackers can do anything against Altaria. So we're doing nothing and winning. We could have like Mellow Lana, put Lily's Pokedon, already poked damage onto this guy. Yeah, that probably would have been an easier way out. Probably. Attachment onto this fella. I don't even know what we still have left in the deck, to be honest. I really don't know. But we still have more bosses orders where those came from, right? Yeah, for sure. Let's just... Uh, knock out this Bolton. Seemed like a great plan. He could stamp us to one, but we don't care. Speed die for 100 again. And we probably will get our last boss very shortly and that uh, Bolton is gonna get punished instantly. Okay. If he Marnies, we get boss. If he doesn't, it's good. He can still paralyze us, but we have Marnies in our hand. I don't even know why the opponent hasn't conceded just yet. But yeah, I'll just give him the benefit of the doubt. Just having some screen time here on the channel. It's fine. Big Parasol could be nice in this scenario. It could be nice. Yeah. Let's just go for Munchlax. Munchlax, give me the boss, man. Ah. Does he have bosses orders left? Yeah, he could gust up the Munchlax if he wants to. <laughs> really, if the Munchlax was successful, we actually could have gotten the boss back on top of the deck. Maybe we should have played Marnie instead, so we would have ensured our our boss orders, but this is a long game. I actually want to showcase everything in this list. Here's the boss, takes a KO. Attachment onto the Eldegoss. Yo, how many Cynthia Catlins? Three Cynthia Catlins. I'm actually gonna scout with level ball to see if boss orders is in there, otherwise he's just gonna go in circles with his Eldegoss. Which is utterly ridiculous. Okay, let's see here. Level ball. Yeah, two bosses are still left in there. 
You know, that probably would have been our way out. Yeah, let's just go for Marnie. Let's do this. Yes. Woo. Putting everything back in the deck. <laughs> We're actually not doing anything at all. Yo, look at that. Two copies of Basel Sword. Even if he paralyzes us, we should probably don't just attack with Aldegas here. Speed dive. For 100. Yeah, we're not doing anything. Just uh, playing the long game here. Could have done like the Marnie earlier, so we would have bossed already. But this is a game where you actually don't need to think too much. The only thing you need to think of is that the opponent doesn't take an additional prize card here. And he only needs one more prize card, but there's no way he can attack this Altaria. He can paralyze us, but then we Melolana and we win. Maybe he wants to like deck us out or something. Maybe he thinks Boss Zord is his prize, but that's not the case. We're just gonna knock out this guy. Like three prize cards, three additional prize cards seems good. Well played. You have a good deck. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, speed dive. So uh, Altaria by itself just wins games. As you can see in this video, sometimes it's a long game. And this was a long game, by the way. But you're not doing anything. You're just... They are avoiding the inevitable. They could have decked us out by Eldegos looping. Getting the Marnie every single time. Eldegos goes back in the deck every single time. Was an answer, but an, not, not an answer against Altaria. Altaria just has an auto win against Picaran. Let us be honest. Also has auto wins against Eternus if Phoebe is prized. We'll see. What is our next opponent? Hard face. Hello. I think I want to go first. We are a Gormandized list, right? Snorlax, Gormandized, that's how we're rocking here. Look at this, look at this fantastic opening hand. Big Parasol also makes sure we cannot get paralyzed and stuff, other effects. Yo, the effects go away. Big Parasol, we already have it in hand, so it depends on what we're up against, to be honest. Come on, Dracapult. Dracapult has Shred, that's an auto loss. <laughs> yeah. Dracapult has Shred, so uh, there's no way in hell, although... Although, although, although... Yeah, let's try something out, shall we? Let's try something out. Little Swablu in the house. Attached there. It's powerful cars, energy. This as well. He's probably gonna be mourning us for all we know, so let's just put this aside. Evolution and Sense, Altaria. And Gorman dice, let's go! Will the big parcel protect us against Shred? Prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to all of your Pokemon. Okay, that sounds like a great plan to me. Crushing Hammer! Well, these hammers, <laughs> these hammers are sometimes ridiculously good, ridiculously bad. Okay, this is a Pokemon communication all the way back from black and white with Minchino up on the computer. Crazy! Brings me back. Okay, we're gonna be evolving into Altaria. We're gonna be attaching Capture Energy and we will go for... Do we even need another Altaria? I really want to know if he actually has a way to uh, shred through our attack. Prevents all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to all of your Pokemon. Wow, that's so good. We're gonna have to try this out. I don't even know what the effect will do, but we'll see. Opponent didn't play any support down just yet, so let's hope Marnie is not the case. Rope. Yo, take a doll. Take the doll. He can actually knock out the doll if he wants to. Marnie, no! No! I don't want to see this Marnie at all. Come on, Altaria. Pop yourself up. Yep, that's cool. That's all we need. That's all we need. Yo, the fan of the waves. Interesting. Cynthia Catlin can get back nothing at all. And I just want to know if Shred is able to go through uh, our Miraculous Charm, then we lose. If not, we just have Lone Altaria and just go crazy like that. Right? Right. So, Altaria is in the house. We. Cynthia Catlin. Let's get rid of this. What can we get? Nothing. Drawing some cards. Even the Big Charm. Interesting. Lily's Pokédoll going down to the bottom of the deck. Snorlax. Do we go for Snorlax Gormandai so we can draw some energies? Yo. 
I think this is a nice solution, right? I really want to know because if he is able to slap through this, it's going to be bad. That's one I want to scout out here. Otherwise, it's an other loss anyhow. Otherwise, it's an other loss anyhow. Okay. We will go for this. We're getting ourselves a little swablu. That's what we're doing here. I'm just gonna see. Maybe next turn we are gonna be able to evolve it. Yes or no? We'll see. I want to know if the par big parasol will protect us against Shred or not. If not, we just lose because yeah, Dracopult has the horror psychic energies, which actually poke damage to us if we attack him. He can get like f two of them, three of them in total. That means we slap six damage. But we do have Melolana and Cynthia Catlins by our side, so that could help. Huh. Scoop up. I really wonder what's gonna happen now. Will he find Dragpole V Max? Is it going to work against Big Parasol? Still haven't seen his Dragpole V Max just yet. I really am going to get a lot of knowledge thanks to this matchup. Because I typically think like the Sejuai instantly loses against uh, Dragpole V Max. And it's probably gonna be the case in this scenario as well. If he pokes damage into us. Come on, Big Parasol. You can do it, man. Crobat. Okay. Come on, Dragpool V Max. Yeah, sure. Come on. Will we get will we be protected? Big Parasol, come on! Is that the only way? Shred. Still goes to any effects. <laughs> well played. I actually wanted to, to, to test that out, to be honest. Okay. We don't want to see Dragapult V Max just because of Shred. Shred goes to any effects, and that's bad for Eltaria. But we already showcased that Altaria is able to win against stuff like Picaron by doing totally nothing at all. So one more uh, match for the road. We'll see what we're up against right now. Yeah, Dragapult. Oh, luckily, Dragapult is not like a tier 1 archetype. But we learned a lot in this battle, in the previous battle. Okay, nothing in hand. Opponent is playing Blastoise. Mega Blastoise sleeves, that's cool. Okay, we have ourselves a little Swablu. We can get Snorlax up and rolling if we want to. We can retreat to a doll. There's definitely something we can do here. Depends on what we top deck though. Come on, play all VMAXs or GXs. He's playing... What is this? It's Zacian. Lily's Pokédol. Zacian decks are typically slow. That gives us a little bit of time. So we're gonna go for Capture Energy, Snorlax. Snorlax in the house. Lily's Pokédol, so he's not able to mawel the hell out of us. <laughs> How cool is that? We retreat to the Snorlax. The big charm over here. Let's go. Gormandize. Look at that. Three dolls. We are able to work with three dolls. Evolution Incense Altaria and just wait it out, I guess. Let's hope he doesn't play Aegislash. If he's not playing Aegislash, he probably will win this game. Because Mawel's not going to be doing too much just because of the fact that we have three dolls. Intrepid Sword. Yo, is that going to be game already? Evolution Incense. Going for Altaria. Don't have a Bird Keeper just yet, so we are just gonna go for this. We're gonna Marnie his huge hand away. Let's get rid of all that. Alright. Now, Bird Keeper and we're good. Yeah, there's the Bird Keeper, there's the energy. Oh. Perfect. We're gonna be poking into this Zacian instantly. It's gonna be a tree shot, but it's okay. <laughs> well played. Yay! <laughs> he doesn't play anything. So uh, yeah, that's how you win games, fellas. Just play Altaria and you're gonna be good. Do we play one more game? Should we play one more game? We've already been at it for like uh, 34 minutes. One against uh, a Zacian build, one against Picaram. Dragapult is terrible, but that's something we already knew. We're gonna be playing one more little game. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the daily Pokemon TCG content. If you are, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button. Helps out in many ways. That's the best way to support the channel in general because more people will be able to see the video. Okay, looks like the coin flips are all going our way. Let's go. We go first, we got Gorman dies. Perfect. The Snorlax from Vivid Voltage sees quite a lot of play. Yeah, drawing cards in the TCG has always been good, so no wonder. Okay, what is this? Crobat? This, that, Dormant dies for two. Two is better than one. 
Okay, Elder Snorlax. If we're able to evolve into Altaria, I'm gonna be glad. Because this looks like... Ooh, did any? Scouting it out. Mewtwo? No, Blastoise VMAX. Well, I'm... Ooh, this is Blastoise VMAX with Rose. This guy is able to go for the... Ooh, ooh crazy stuff. Mail and attachment. Turbo patch. Wow. Now I've seen everything, right? Okay, there's a Marnie. So hopefully Evolution Incense or an Altaria. That's all we need to win matches. <laughs> all we need to do. Well, look at that. There's a level ball. Nothing else going around here. So we get powerful Carless Energy. This guy is able to spread damage, I guess. Powerful Carless Energy over here. Level ball as well. Getting a Mew to protect herself. Or another Swablu. Swablu is probably the best bet. Swablu, Marnie, Gormandice. So now we have two. Two of them. Okay, there's our Altaria. Straight from the bat. Ready to get go. Ready to go. Altaria number one. Away. Will they say well played? Who knows. We can equip the big charm <laughs> onto this Swablu. So he's even more tanky than ever before. And next turn we just try to poke everything with the Altarias. We even have the big parasol. Don't even know if it's necessary in this situation. That's just for paralyzation and poison stuff, right? Switch. Here comes us the Blastoise V Max. Actually, the Blastoise V. 220 HP. Look at that. Even leak energies. Crazy. Okay. Here we are. Let's slap down the doll because we can. Powerful Carla's energy. Uh, we could go for Bird Keeper for all we know because. Probably should have done that differently, but it's fine. We have another doll, so more dolls where those came from. This one goes back into the deck. Blurp, blurp. There he goes. Yo, promoting this level ball. Might as well play all the uh, level balls instantly. Or the quick balls and all that. Just because we will be winning the game if we get multiple Altarias out. Yeah, probably gonna be the way we win here. Not gonna slap down any other one. Just gonna wait and see what he has. 100 damage output. Crazy. Utterly crazy. Maybe he's playing Cheryl's. He's playing Rose. Two balls down the drain. With two balls down the drain, I'm actually comfortable slapping down more Swablus. What does he have? Well, <laughs> little Swablu probably will not survive that one. Okay, Bird Keeper. Interestingly enough. Bird Keeper time. Maybe another Altaria pops up. Yeah, there we go. We will go for Capture Energy. We will get ourselves a Mew for the memes. He can still knock out the Mew if he wants to. We're going to be evolving into this guy. We're going to be retreating and poking for huge serious damage output. 100. That's all we need to do here. Speed dive until our heart's content. And <laughs> this guy is almost knocked out. Crazy. 100, 100. Does he have a, a one prize? Yeah, they just can see. That's how you win games, folks. Easy as pie. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, of the crazy Altaria deck. Big shout out to Sesto Santo from Israel from playing, for playing in the GG Tour for, to get third place. Be sure to destroy the hell out of the like button if you enjoyed the channel. We're gonna be posting more content every single day, so be sure you are subscribed. Go check out our sponsors, Poketownstore.com, the best place for European players to get uh, yeah, the access to TCGO codes. You can use the coupon code ZABLUCCG for 5% off. Eternus codes, Zacian codes, League Battle Deck codes, Trainer Toolkits, Luke Metal, Mew Mew, whatever you need, they have it up on stock. Use that coupon code ZABLUCCG for 5% off. Also, be sure to go uh, to cartmarket.com if you're a European player because on card market you can buy and sell cards to people all across europe i personally use it every single day uh, to get rid of some cards that i don't need anymore so you guys should probably do the same thing as well if you're a european go click that affiliate link in the description helps out the channel tremendously and as a reward there's a five euro coupon code for one lucky person if you're the lucky person that claimed the five euros be sure to let me know what you're gonna purchase all over at cardmarket.com anyhow have yourself a fantastic rest of your day i will see you guys in tomorrow's pokemon tcg video have a fresh one guys peace